some ancient relics are hard to explain. The technology seemed to be so advanced that they shouldn't exist at that point in history. For some people, these out-of-place objects are proof that past advanced civilizations existed and for others, it's proof of alien intervention or time travel. Because history is left up to interpretation or important pieces of information are missing, it's hard to say who's right. Let's take a trip back in time and explore some mysterious and advanced ancient artifacts that seemingly shouldn't exist. And for some extra fun, find our mascot net hiding throughout the video. Viking GPS Navigating the open oceans is hard even today. The Chinese invented the first magnetic compass for navigation which changed the world in the 10th century. But that was still after the age of the Vikings. So how were the Vikings able to accurately sail the open oceans at a time when just crossing the Mediterranean Sea was a navigational challenge for the rest of the world? The answer is a crystal, actually a magic crystal. Ancient sailors used the stars or sundials to navigate on the water. The problem was when it was cloudy and their instruments didn't work. But the Vikings found a way around this problem. Greenland, 1948. Archaeologists found an artifact named the Unartuk disk. Records from medieval Europe, hundreds of years later, referred to a magic crystal that allowed it to work even when the sun wasn't out. It is thought that this special crystal was able to amplify even the slightest bit of light, allowing navigation in almost any weather condition. To this day, nobody has found another one of those crystal disks. Salt, the mother of invention. Roman roads, ancient pyramids, and most other technological innovations in history are brought about by necessity. One day, somebody got tired walking miles to the nearest freshwater source, so the well is invented. But a pipeline that carried natural gas throughout the entire city, that didn't come about until modern times. Or so we thought. Salt has been extremely valuable around the world for thousands of years. Its ability to flavor and preserve food alone made it invaluable. In the 3rd century, the Chinese invented drills and the underground pipelines to bring seawater into the city in order to extract the salt. As they drill further into the earth than anyone before, they run into fire wells that exploded as they drilled. The explosions were caused by methane pockets in the earth and the Chinese quickly realized they could use it to run their ancient appliances and inventions. They soon created vast bamboo pipelines that transported salt water and natural gas throughout the city. Rust-proof metal Even with all of our technology, there are still things done in the ancient world that we can't replicate today. Sometimes progress also means that we lose something along the way. In India, there is a 1,600-year-old pillar that, even with all our technology, we cannot replicate even today. Iron was so important to human civilization that there is an entire era named after it, the Iron Age. During this time, craftsmen became extremely skilled working with the metal, so much so that they knew that the kind of materials they used for the fire that melted it down had an impact on the finished product. The Iron Pillar of Delhi had an unusual high level of phosphorus, which created a thin coating on the iron that had made it impervious to rusting because the metal is not exposed to the elements. How the ancient Indian craftsmen made iron with this ability is still a mystery to this day. Ancient Robots Robots are programmable machines that run on electricity or gas, so there is no way they could have existed in ancient times because they had neither, right? In ancient Greece, there was a man known as Heron of Alexandria who had a list of groundbreaking inventions to his credit. Among them were wind wheels, the earliest machine to harness wind on land, the steam-powered motor, and the first bending machine for holy water. But the invention that seemed him possibly ahead of its time, was the first programmable robot. He programmed his robots by tying knots on ropes at different points and wrapping them around an axle with pegs. The knots in the rope and pegs coming off the axle 
meant you could program a specific path of a vehicle or timing of certain actions. He even created a 10-minute play with puppets, including thunder sounds effects, using this method. Take that, Bill Gates. The Antithera Mechanism Knowing the positions of the stars, where the sun will be in the sky, and when the seasons will change was very important information in ancient times for planting crops, navigation, and many other aspects of life. Unfortunately, to predict the movements of the heavens, it took a lot of time, a lot of paper, and a lot of math. Or at least that's what we thought. In 1902, divers found an old Greek shipwreck. Among the treasures, they found a little metal object with over two dozen brass gears. The gears were so well-crafted that it functions as a fine Swiss watch, but nobody knew what it was for. More than 50 years after it was unearthed, there was a thorough analysis of the mechanism in 1959. Finally, it was figured out its function. It was one of the world's first analog computers, invented about 2,000 years sooner than we thought. With the Antiqua mechanism, you could set the main dial to a specific month in the calendar, and the rest of the gears will calculate the position of the moon, stars, and the planets in the sky at that point in time. No pencil and paper necessary. The Schist's Disk During the excavation of a tomb in Egypt, archaeologists found a very interesting object. It was circular shape and with a hole in the middle and blades that look like a turbine or what you will see at the bottom of your blender, carved from a very brittle stone. What makes the object strange is that it shouldn't exist. It was created 5,000 years ago, at a time where the Egyptians hadn't even started using the wheel yet. This circular object was about 500 years too early which is like the equivalent of Leonardo da Vinci using a smartphone. But they didn't even have the technology or craftsmanship to carve such intricate object as far as we know. Because it looks like the inside of a water pump or the flywheel of a car, ancient alien theorists have gone crazy. Their prevailing theory is that the schist disk is a replica seen by the craftsmen of a metal piece used to power an alien spacecraft. The ring watch. Watches today are worn more for fashion than for the necessity thanks to our cell phones. The first wrist watch was made in 1864. Before that, people used pocket watches. Among the fashion trends of the 1700s was something called a ring watch, decorative finger jewelry that also told time. But how did a ring watch from Switzerland, which didn't exist until 1848, get into a Chinese tomb that had been sealed for over 400 years? In 2005, archaeologists were cleaning the dirt away from a Ming Dynasty tomb when they came across a small gold ring with a watch face that had frozen at 10.06. The ring was trapped in the dirt on the outside of the tomb. Considering the first watch was made by a German inventor in 1505, it is possible the technology existed in China when the tomb was sealed, but very unlikely since there is no proof the Chinese had developed the technology yet. In the 1600s, Jesuit missionaries were known to give watches as gifts to Chinese emperors, but the tomb was older than that. It would have been very rare and very valuable in Ming Dynasty China, so why wasn't it found protected inside the tomb? Even trying this hard to come up with a rational explanation, one thing cannot be accounted for. The ring was only dated 200 years ago and was engraved with the word Swiss. Is time travel possible? Did a traveler from the future lose their ring while visiting the tomb in the past? The idea seems crazy, but until a better theory arises, that is the one a lot of people choose to believe, or at least enjoy debating on the internet. Art is in the eye of the beholder. Today, art and invention often intermix with the rise of modern art. When it comes to ancient inventions and relics that shouldn't exist, sometimes art is the only documentation we have left. Hothor Temple in Dandarak, Egypt, is one of the most well-preserved temples from ancient Egypt, built 2,000 years ago. 
Inside there are wall carvings as with most Egyptian temples, but a few of them seem to predict what could be the first electric lamp in the world, 1,900 years before Edison filed his first patent. To some, this relief shows a lotus flower spawning a snake consistent with aspects of Egyptian mythology. To others, it is undoubtedly a light bulb. There have also been poles discovered with copper tops that these people see as evidence of an electrical system being used in ancient Egypt. Ancient mythology or the world's first electrical grid in ancient Egypt? You decide. Incredible to think that there are inventions so advanced that with all the technology we have at our fingertips at this moment, we cannot even replicate them. Could it be that travelers from the future left evidence of their stay in times past? May we have already been visited by aliens who gave us ideas for the most advanced technology that was lost in time? We may never know the reasons for these findings, but what else is there to discover? Thanks for watching this video and see you next time. Remember to click the bell icon after you subscribe so you can get instant notifications of all of our new videos.